Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Gifty here back again with another video and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. It's that time again. It's like my bi-yearly collection update. So if you watch the previous one from a few months back, there's probably gonna be some subtle difference here and there. So the purpose of these videos, I know they're quite long. I don't know how long this video is gonna take. But the purpose of this video is mainly for my own documentation lah, for me to look back to. But if you guys, but it seems like a lot of you guys enjoy these uh, long vlogs, just admiring some really cool cars in my collection. So yeah, let's have a look and hope you sit back, relax and enjoy this really chill vlog. No editing, no music, whatever. Just you and your boy D, baby. <laughs> Joke lang okay, magalit. Okay, so anyways, let's start with my corner here. Alright, so um, I think more or less, the, the, the cars that you see here are pretty much the same. I think compared to the previous time that we were here, um, there are more uh, premium cars right here. So my goal is I don't really focus on mainline cars too much. It's just a thing, you know, there are just much, much better cars out there. So I don't really focus on Hot Wheels mainlines uh, too much. That's for another video. But for the, for the most part, I think the cars in this corner are pretty much the same. Compared to the last video, Oop, this LED ship. Yeah, as you can tell, my, my collection is in disrepair. I can't be bothered. I'm so sorry. It's in disrepair. So, you know, I'm a bit dusty here and there. But, you know, it does the job of displaying my cars. Then some more RLCs right here. You don't, you guys don't need me to go through this too much. Because, you know, I think you all know what RLC looks like. But a really cool piece in my collection right here are my two autographed gassers from brandon batuski at the singapore diecast expo from a from a month back so yeah there's some empty spaces here and i'll show you why later on but yeah there are empty spaces there then here uh you can see there's some more stuff here the singapore diecast expo gasser brandon batuski and <gasps> oh my god it's a candy striper that's worth a thousand plus dollars no i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah so this is a custom Candy Striper, it looks 95% identical to the actual one. And I was just mesmerized by the amount of craftsmanship that went in it. So I decided to get it. It's just a really cool piece, you know. So you guys know, you guys know that it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a custom. But for those who don't watch this video, they'll never know. And my T1 panel bus is much more complete now. I filled it in with the Little People T1 bus right here. Uh, what's only missing is the fat lace D1, so yeah, that kind of sucks. So the same thing right here, some cards. There are a couple of cards behind here. I know they're covered. They're, they are covered by all these uh, boxes, but I, I really have no choice. You know, this is the predicament I am with, you know. The, the idea is just to store the cars till I have like, my own house or whatever. But that's it for the wall of cars, in a way. Then my Dream Customs. Shout out to the lads at Dream Customs. Henshin Hako. I made it a little bit more bougie with my, uh, what do you call this, uh, the, what was, what's the flower thing? Ah, Murakami, yeah, Murakami flower, uh, Liberty Walk right here from uh, Inno64. And of course, the Bathing Ape Aston Martin GT trees. Uh, those, those are beautiful. This is like a really hype corner I have right here. And for those who are curious, here's my, here's what my sneakers collection looks like now. Uh, for those who are wondering, those are wraps. I think a couple of those are wraps as well. Those are wraps, those are wraps, those are wraps. Yeah, those are pretty much wraps. I'm not gonna pay $3,000 for a pair of shoes, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is one of the latest one in my shoes. So yeah, check this out. I have a t-shirt hanging right here. Brandon Batusi. It's signed, it's autographed, but it's on the other side of the shirt. So I'm just gonna leave it displayed there for now. Then boxes, 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 yo. If you guys are wondering what's in these boxes, so for example, right, um, some of these RLCs, they have their own packaging or whatever, you know, they're all inside, all like my tarmac works or pop race boxes, a couple of cards here and there. I have extra protector boxes here. This is just like my extra box. They're basically empty uh, packagings from other cars. Then this one right here, oh, I have some extra things here, like the empty pop race boxes. I have an extra RLC that I'm trying to sell off, a Lego car right here and the display case from the diecast really cool guy that he actually gave me my own custom drift 3d but for the time being i have to keep these in the boxes because I, I really have nowhere to display them 
my room is very small you know just singapore things but i do hope that in the future when i have my own house i get to display the way that i uh, i get to display the things the way i like then here i have some more extra things that i'm planning to sell off don't really collect this per se so i'm trying to sell it off got a couple of these uh, camera rlc's selling them for a pretty good price if you're from singapore then be search uh, search drifters diecast once again that's drifters diecast i'm selling off some cars for a pretty good price you know got a couple of these mario cards this was two per account i had two accounts ready so i had four and no one's buying them because they're hella ugly i don't know why i bought four of them but yeah here you go some extra stuff here and there matchbox here and there and the last one is just some uh, bubble wrap and stuff for uh packaging yeah. and then next segment <laughs> i think more or less it's the same so for example i have a couple of uh, you know english and uh, rx7 right there Ooh, the pop race up, up, upcoming by the way this is an unreleased casting really special thanks to pop race for giving me the honors of letting me get their hands on an unreleased casting then bam that's the reason why some of the cars that you saw there were empty it's because i don't know i just find it mesmerizing to put the the cars together like this you know very nice i know i know it looks a bit messy this is just a temporary thing i'm gonna find i'm gonna find a way to display their cars this way look at that it's like pretty cool right there so yeah that's why this is empty but i think other than here i think some cars might have gone in and gone out but they're more or less the same some of the cars i got from the bike as i explore here some pretty cool looking cars boom the Bugatti division gt so there's like uh you know mini gt series hot wheels premiums green lights pop race etc all the premium cars are here johnny lightings as well there are some cars behind the monitor which i actually don't know you know but there are some cars behind the monitor i know it sucks i can't see it but that's the way it is oh, but i really like this corner by the way i have the hot wheels racing livery there i have some falcon cars over here and on top we have the golfs mm, yummy 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 then this corner is pretty much more or less the same got the whole roll of combis going there high rollers Volkswagen uh, dragon drag bus and jingle Badini. And all of the latest boulevards and hot tools premiums here. I think this is pretty much more or less the same. So there's not much different there. Then, aha, these two editions. I got this from the M Carnival. The Motorist SG Carnival. I got these two bad boys right here. I'm not a fan of 1 to 18s, but these are Hot Wheels, uh, hot wheels Ferraris. Yeah, 1 to 18 Hot Wheels Ferraris. Uh, miscellaneous stuff. This was a gift given to me by my girlfriend so you know charge my phone and stuff and it's like a mini calendar to put some stuff i know this is not how it was related but you know gonna share my setup and etc so yeah i really appreciate my girlfriend for that and those screen combos usual 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 right here 50 d and <laughs> yeah then my drawer is really messy i'm gonna have to uh not show this to you guys for now i'm gonna have to find the time to uh, uh you know tidy it up and in this box now below the study table is a shit ton of cars that's right we have like 300 ish cars inside right now we have roughly 300 cars uh popway's boxes this was for a sponsorship video so i made them accessible here we have just a lot of cars here like the era car g-wagon some major at the virtual car you know there's some pretty good cars here honestly i have no idea how i'm gonna sell this off it's a very 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 hassle so i have some pretty decent cars here by the way I have some pretty decent cars here. Planning to sell them off for like four Singapore dollars or less. Yeah, so check that out. I'm gonna put this back. But lots of cars right there. And for those who have followed me on Instagram and uh, you know TikTok, I have a box full of the Faith Pin Garage pins right here. We're gonna have to uh, clear that out. I'm gonna tidy that up later. But yeah, all the Hello Kitty and all the Jingle Dingy Cyberpunk pins. Yeah, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, just search Fake Pin Garage on my channel or on my IG, TikTok, and whatever. So, they're kind of messy right now. Then I have an empty Hot Wheels stand pack right there. I think it'll be cool, right? If I fill this up with Super Treasure Hunts or RLCs. It's just a video idea that I have in mind for the future. So, there's that. Then, yes, for the most part, for those who don't know already, uh, my, package, my, my packages are empty because... Um, I purposely left one uncut right here. It's the gaster, so it's it's exactly for these kind of videos. But cards, they yeah. Do you see how dusty? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Woo wee! Yeah, that's why I cut off the card. 
you know, and took out, remove the car itself and display them on one of the boxes so that they would, so that they would stop gathering dust. I don't know, maybe it's just the, I'm not gonna say which exact floor I live in, but it's one of the downsides of living at a very low level, <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, I don't know what's causing the dust. But I think more or less, guys, more or less, I think that's it. Yes, if you guys watch my videos from 2018, 2019, my collection was way bigger at like 2,800 cars. But as we speak, I have roughly 1,500, 1,600 cars. I cut my collection by a half. Long story short, I sold a lot of cars on Carousel over a period of two years, especially when I was in NS. And I'm really much happier now. I have lesser cars now, but I'm really much happier because like the cars I have now are the much nicer ones. Not some crappy car for $1, that kind of thing. Just to increase my car count. It's a really long story. But I to say that I'm pretty happy with my collection now. And my next goal is really to clear all of these. I, I just have way too... I still have way too many cars in my collection. So hopefully I can sell it off. But anyways, uh, I don't want to hold you guys back any longer. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed admiring all these beautiful cars. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.